everyone welcome to today's video i'm making another animal from the safari crochet book and hey the one i'm making is actually on the front cover today i'm making the giraffe isn't that amazing oh my gosh i don't remember if i said this or not when i first started but i did buy this kit because i wanted to make two of the animals and one of the animals I wanted to make was the giraffe, actually. I don't know if other people have noticed this, but like there are certain animals that do keep on popping up over and over again with amigurumi patterns and a giraffe is one of them. And also with giraffes, usually the first thing you get dumped are the spots. So what makes this pattern unique is that they actually show the spots. And you actually, this is like the closest I've ever seen in a giraffe pattern getting to having what looks like the traditional draft spots on them. I also realized looking at these spots though, that this is all embroidery. It's a lot of embroidery. I'm not a big fan of embroidery. I will put off things that there's a lot of embroidery, but it does say if you're in a hurry or don't really like embroidery, you could crochet the draft entirely in yellow, except for the hooves and the tips of the horns and then glue on patches cut from brown felt. What I don't like, even more than embroidery is gluing felt onto yarn amigurumi. I will put off projects simply because they require me to cut felt and I don't really like the texture. There are times I will make exceptions for it, like when I was doing the Winnie the Pooh animals, but in general, I will do everything in my power to avoid putting felt on stuffed animals. So we're going to be doing the embroidery here. Also, just like a nice little tip about giraffes. So one of my friends volunteers with like the Philadelphia Prison Society, and I don't remember the entirety of this story, but apparently for people who are in prison, there's like a behavioral guide where it's like, this is an animal we want to be like, and this is the animal we don't want to be like, and giraffes are the animal you want to be like. Giraffes are toted as the good role model. I don't remember what the bad animal was. It's either a jackal or a hyena. I don't remember. But yeah, giraffes are just like gentle giants. <laughs> and I'm very excited to make the giraffe, and I really hope I see a giraffe when I'm in Kenya. Apparently there's like this giraffe enclosure thing in Nairobi I think we're going to be visiting so I really hope that stays on the itinerary and I really hope I see a giraffe while I'm there anyway let's get started <laughs>
here is the finished giraffe. And even though I was vaguely annoyed at how much embroidery I had to do, it was absolutely worth it. Oh my gosh. Like I've made several giraffes before, but this is the closest to looking like an actual giraffe that I have made. And out of all the ones that I've done so far, this is the one that I'm proudest of. This is the one that really stands out like, wow, that was an amazing stuffed animal. Like it's understandable why this was the front cover of the book. It stands up, I think. Yeah, see it's so tall. It's like, it's standing on the table, right? I'm not touching it right now. And like, <laughs> it's just so adorable. Oh my gosh. This makes me so much more excited to hopefully see an actual giraffe when I'm in Kenya. And also the fact that I'm now done with this means I only have two left, I think, at this point. It's also like the first time I made a giraffe and there was just so much brown. I ended up like using some yellow, like taking yellow because it's like, oh, I'm not going to... Like, I thought I was going to need more yellow than I actually did end up using. Because most of the yellow here was embroidered on. It wasn't crocheted. Am I likely to make this again? I don't know. The ears were messed up though. The, the instructions of the ears, the math wasn't mathing for the ears. But the rest of it was pretty cool. And if I were to make it again, it would definitely be after a while. <laughs> I'm not about to make another one right now <laughs> in case something happens. Like I just have the one animal and the one animal is the one animal, yeah. <laughs> Such a gentle little giant. It's nice and small too. It might not be smaller than the elephant height wise, but it is smaller than the elephant for everything else. Which honestly is how giraffes probably are in real life, yeah. <laughs> anyway, that was today's entertainment. Have a nice day.